to you all, I'm not going to sing to you. <laughs> that was pretty impressive, buddy. Um, you know, I owe this organization a lot. Your endorsement, your backing, your support means a lot. I will tell you, though, I almost blew it. So during my campaign, I reached out to Ann. Do you remember the first time we met? Yes. So uh, I reached out to Ann. Directionally challenged. <laughs> It's worse than that, actually. <laughs> um, I reached out to Ann, told her about my campaign, about myself, and I wanted to meet with her. And uh, we live in different counties, so we're going to meet halfway. And she said, that's perfectly fine. She's very gracious and said, why don't you just pick a place for us to meet for breakfast? Well, I did like any of y'all would do, right? I Googled it, right? So I Google mapped it and found this. It sounded like a really nice place for breakfast, and I told her about it. So I get up early. I put my suit on. And, you know, I can't blow this, right? This is with Ann Henninger. If I blow this, the race is over, right? So uh, I'm getting the directions, listening to the directions, and I pull up the address. And it's the warehouse for the restaurant. <laughs> well, Ann was very gracious and uh, knew I was intellectually challenged, but still uh, supported me. At, uh, but uh, I am excited to hear that you all will be coming uh, to our office. It's, I can tell you, like what I tell the Texas Right to Life guys, if you want, you can just email me how to vote, and I'm on board. So, but we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much.